guys and welcome back to my channel and this is sin if you guys do not know and if you don't know that means that you need to subscribe so that you can get to know me and my sin city you know my peoples of sin city and whatnot but today i'll be doing a get ready with me for work i'm literally going to work today drag but anyway so i'm just going to be really you know getting ready chit chatting with y'all so if you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you like, comment, and comment down below and let me know that you would like to see more. And I'll also be telling you guys about pretty much like hair, cheer, um, my business, and the reasons why I have not been posting <laughs> and stuff like that. So if you guys would like to see all of that, make sure you stay tuned and I love you guys. See you later. Okay, you guys. So... I'm gonna try this whole chit chat. Get ready with me again. I think only, I think I've done one on my channel so far. Maybe two. Maybe two. But I'm pretty sure it's one. But this time I'm just gonna get ready to go to work. And yeah. So when I go to work, I don't really beat my face. I don't really beat my face at all anymore. But I do a little shine, shine, a little shine, slight, a little slight work or whatever. But um yeah let's just going to jump right into it so i didn't even sit in my products out <laughs> except for like my brushes and my cute little thing uh -huh. yeah so let me just get my makeup out i'm trying to think of like everything i want to talk about while i complete my makeup or whatever but i think the first thing um oh yeah by the way you guys if you like this shirt I got it from Rose Gal. It's in my try on haul that I posted last. I'll make sure that's linked up in the cards and in the description box down below. If you guys would like to check it out and get it. It's really cute, you know. Stay chill. But anyway, so in my, I think it was my last video. Or maybe my school get ready with me. I don't know. But um, I told you guys that I was going to let you know whenever... I start selling hair and you know get at your girl site down below you know, got the cards or whatever you know got straight got the body wave so those are the main two textures that I started with um to start my side off with but you guys can always email me down below in my email I'll be coming with a um my a business email soon so that all that stuff can be in one place but if you guys would like other textures like if you want curly but it's not on my site you can email me and we can go through paypal for me to get you that or um loose wave just let me know what texture that you want or send a picture and i can tell you if i have something close to that and then we can just go from there but yeah, I don't start it, but mainly just the two things on my site that I always have in stock is um straight and body wave. Cause you know your girl didn't want to invest too much money. They want to be investing three thousand dollars into a business just yet. But sooner or later sooner or later, your girl will be coming with all the textures on the site, all in stock. Put it out there in the atmosphere. Well, yeah, I always keep my site name down below. Not my site name, but my site. The link to my site down below. And I just got done, um, like, redoing my site. Because I wanted to go through a different, um, site carrier, I guess. Or site builder. I don't know what it's called. But I switched over to a new one. Because I felt like the one that I was on didn't have all the features that I wanted. Like, I wanted to have a set um price for like shipping like instead of the site that i was on shipping was like per item and not like a set price like if you go to um fashion nova site to buy clothes it's a set price for when you um if you spend less than a certain amount of money and then when you spend a certain amount of money you like a certain amount of money you got automatic free shipping so i wanted that but I just didn't know which site I wanted to jump to just yet. And I didn't want to be spending more money than what I was spending on the site that I have at the moment. So, 
you know, I just waited, kind of did my little bit of research. And first I seen what um, site places will let you have a free trial. Because I'm not about to be like, you know, giving you like, what, what's the site called? Um, Shopify. Like with Shopify, you don't get a free trial. Like I tried them once when I was selling lashes. When I had like just started selling lashes. And... They don't do free trials. Like, you literally got to pay for your first month of doing it. And I didn't like that. Because <laughs> after I got done my first month, I realized I didn't want to use Shopify just yet. Like, I wasn't making enough profit a month to afford to use Shopify. So, it was just like, mm, like, you taking my money right now. And your girl's in college. I can't afford to be just dishing out dollars and I'm not getting back at least what I dished out a month like I'm not the type of person who wants to you know dig all up in your pockets you know with regular regular stuff like I'm not about to be selling no lashes for $18 or $20 just to make a enough profit a month to afford a site like no so I just stayed with the site that I was with and kept it moving like that so but now that I sell hair which is a bigger investment, but you get a bigger profit. Like, with lashes, if I sell one pair of lashes, it's literally like a profit of like two, three dollars. Because I'm not about to be digging in your pockets for a pair of lashes. Like, come on. But, with hair, you're spending more money and you're getting a bigger profit. Like, some people, not, not me, but some people literally can sell... A 12 inch bundle probably buy it for like $20 and make a profit of like $40 off of that one bundle because they're digging in your pockets pretty much they're making a profit like a bigger profit off of you you know they, they just digging in your pockets for no reason and I'm just not like that like, I just I don't feel comfortable especially me being in college and I'm pointed towards more college people I don't want it to be digging in y'all pockets because I won't want nobody digging in mine but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I do sell 9A bundles, which is a little bit more pricier than what you would get off of, like, AliExpress for those, you know, cheap prices. I'm an AliExpress shopper, you know? I used to shop on AliExpress. But now that I found this certain vendor that I like with these nice, you know, bundles that is, like, really nice bundles, I'll insert a video, like, right here of a person I did a sewing with their, with my hair. And, you know, it's nice bundles, nice and soft, like, no flyaways. It's really smooth down. Like, I really like the hair. So, I feel like, you know, it's going to be a little more costly. Because it's a little more costly to me. So, I was talking to my friend about this the other day. Like, I don't want to be feeling like I'm digging in people's pockets. Like, because I understand the feeling. Like, I'm in college too. Like, I understand, you know, you don't want to be dishing out all this money for some hair but at the same time i should have had my stuff out for this but it's just like at the same time like hair is an investment in my eyes because i've been wearing this hair which for me i've been wearing this hair over a year and i have another wig that i had over a year that i bleached twice colored twice and it's still good so <coughs> if it's like an investment <coughs> excuse me i'm kind of sick so if it's like an investment i can see where like you come from with these prices but at the same time hair shouldn't be that big of an investment like I shouldn't be investing a hundred and fifty dollars or almost two hundred dollars for me to get for me to have hair for a bob and then I gotta pay somebody to put it in and these people out here is literally charging like 150 for a closure sewing which with me I don't do that I charge right now 65 for a closure sewing and if you use my hair I charge you 35 like cuz I know how it is like like I said I'm in college too like I know how it is so I, don't, I just I don't know that's just how I feel about it don't at me or ask me why not how I feel how I feel but that I should understand because now I'm selling here about how people charge how they charge but not that but it's the opposite really 
Because now I, now that I sell her, I see that it shouldn't, like, hair shouldn't be that much. Like, that don't make no sense. It, it don't make no sense. Unless you, unless you sell in, like, 10A here, I, could, I might can understand. But at the same time, I'm not buying no 10A here because my hair works nice enough. Like, it, it does me justice. So, I's not doing it. But I'm about to do, should I do my lashes? Oh yeah, by the way, my spoiled brat is back in stock. So you know, hit your girl up if you need some nice lashes. Five dollars right now. But I think probably about the second week of October, I'm gonna put my prices back to regular price. Cause they've been five dollars for the last longest. Now I might bring it back to five dollars during Christmas or something like that. Don't know. We'll see. But um so but I think I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes off camera and then come back to finish the face. Right, so I got that done. So now I'm about to start on my regular face. And I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, <laughs> your girl's chilling here again. Um, so we had tryouts like before um, Hurricane Florence had hit our area. 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 <laughs> and um. And we were supposed to have a meeting, but then that whole thing happened. So then we had to have a meeting afterward. We had the meeting a couple of days ago, maybe like last week. I don't know. And um, they pretty much was telling us that we had physicals coming up, and then we can get started. Like we have tryouts, not tryouts. We have our first practice this upcoming Tuesday. Am I out of concealer? Ugh, must be out. Um. So we have tryouts. This, uh huh. Practice is upcoming Tuesday, but we had to go get our physicals done first. So we need to go get physicals done, and we have a paper you have to fill out before you get a physical done. People who you know try for sports know about all those questions and stuff. And I answered yes on a few, like a a good few, just cause you know you got to know like. You're not about to have me out here running a hundred laps and I'm not built for that. So, I let everything, let them know everything. Like, yo, let me have my water breaks. Like, if I tell you I need a water break, let me get a water break. Stuff like that. So, a thing that y'all probably don't know about me is that when I was born, I was a preemie, a premature baby. I was born a little early, a lot early, about a month early. And pretty much, I had a heart murmur when I was born. Still got it, but you know, it ain't really give me no problems. But um, recently, I went to the gym to work out, <clears throat> and like 15 minutes into my workout, I felt so bad, like chest hurting, felt like I was just about to pass out. Like, dang, what did I do in these 15 minutes? That's about to kill me. So I put that down on my physical or whatever, and let them know, you know, I have a heart murmur because they asked you that. So. Let them know all that good stuff and whatnot. And so when the man was doing my little checkup thing or whatever, he was just like, well, I feel like you should see a heart specialist because of the chest part. Like, that could, like, it could be a, it could be something, but at the same time, it's probably nothing. But better safe than sorry. So I'm just thinking, okay, they want to set me up to see a, a heart specialist. That's just, you know, just to make sure, you know, I'm not about to be out here stunting and then something happened and then i'm hurt the girl that i was lifting her all that good stuff well not all that good stuff but you know what i'm saying so i'm just thinking that's all he just want me to get checked so next thing you know he telling the man like oh i don't think that she needs to be cheering excuse me i've been cheering since the 10th grade like no sir what you're not gonna do is have me sitting on the sideline not not no not me not me so now i'm just like okay what's the problem because the dude well the the doctor who told them okay the doctor told our athletic person whatever that and he just was like you know we don't want to tell them that they can't do something or whatever because we technically don't know yet like you don't know if something's wrong with me it's, it's nothing wrong with me sir don't be saying that i just was tired that day no, no. What we're not going to do. Cause I'm not sitting on sidelines during the season. Like, I want to be involved. I love cheering. So, now I'm just waiting to see what this is about to be about. Because, um, 
what we're not gonna do. So what we're not gonna do. I'm sorry. I, I done made a team. You're not gonna tell me that I can't cheer now. No. But now I'm just um using my foundation as a contour because as you guys know it seems like no body can make a contour shade for little old Talisa. Every contour shade literally blends into my foundation. Like Everybody was just like, oh, Fenty Beauty came out with all these foundation shades. Praise Lord. Praise Lord. You know, no disrespect because, you know, I love my Fenty. I love my Fenty. But her contour stick is literally like the same shade as my foundation. Like her deepest, darkest contour stick. And so I'm just like, well, doll, I can't really beat, beat my face like I want to like snatch because I don't have no contour shade. So now I just highlight a little lighter than what I usually would. And then just use my foundation to contour. And just keep it simple. Keep it moving. Cause and I don't even contour my nose because it's just too much work. But um Yes, I'm just like Can anybody make a contour shade my color? And then most like dark contour shades is like purple. Like I watched YouTube a YouTube video. I don't know what's the name of it. Who was by it? This is a, a minute ago. But I watched her YouTube video, and she um she contoured with a purple lipstick. Like in the thumbnail, it looked really good. Like I ain't even gonna flex on it. It looked really good in the um the thumbnail. But when I got into watching it, I was just like, that kind of look a little crazy. But I mean, to each his own. Like. It looked good. Like I said, it looked good in the picture. Like, so maybe that's for like picture purposes or whatever. But you know, I just wouldn't do it because I didn't like how it looked when she was doing it. But you know, another view, another dollar. So, hey, whatever works. But um, back to the whole cheering thing. So, I haven't been posting. Like, I really have not been posting. I've been off the game. Like, I have not posted a video since, like, school started. And I'm supposed to be doing my update on my, um, my, um, my nipple piercings. Because I said I was going to do a uh, one month, three months, six month, nine month, year update, and then cut it off. Because that's, like, too much going on with the nipples on my channel. My channel is not about nipples. And that video I actually got a lot of, um, negative comments and a lot of sexual comments like I had to delete so many comments and block so many people because of that video like it's crazy like people like negative comments get you nowhere on my channel like I will literally as soon as you post it delete like nobody's gonna see it like I got a lot of negative comments like it was crazy like if you want like if you didn't want to watch the video, why watch it? And then it's YouTube. Like I'm not about to be posting my bare nipples on YouTube, like especially not on purpose. Like I'm not no. Like people comment like when we gonna get a uncensored video and when you gonna show us what it looks like without the the um the green lines. Like no. Somebody even like asked me, well, what's your Facebook? You can send it to my inbox. No, I'm not gonna send it to your inbox. So get off my thing. And some people just was like, oh, this is stupid. Like, oh, you're just following people. Like, what's your purpose of getting this done? Like, if I want it done, I want it done. Like, this was for me, not for nobody else, not for nobody on YouTube, not for nobody in my life. I literally got it because I wanted it. And also because I seen Amber. What's her name? What's her name? Amber. Mmm. What's her name? It's Amber something. Anyway, bow head Amber. Y'all know who I'm about. Um, she had a she did a line with Fashion Nova that I had liked, and a lot of her stuff was like she wasn't wearing any, a bra with it or whatever. And it just was like, well, This is really cute, like, I want my nipples done, and also because, like, I don't like how big my boobs are, it draws a lot of attention, and it's just like, you know, you can always see my boobs. So, I wanted something that was more like, oh, you're not going to know about it unless I tell you about it. Or unless I, sh like, you know, you really can't say that you know about it unless you really see it. So, I really liked it. Like, when I got my first tattoo, I got it in a place where only I knew where it was. And only you knew what it looked like if I showed it to you. 
or if I let you see it. So it felt like I had that power, like, oh, you might be able to, like, oh, you got big boobs, but you don't know about my boobs. <laughs> like, it's something that you just don't know. So it just, it's just that kind of feeling which made me want to get them done. So I went and got them done. But people just kept questioning me, like, oh, that's a stupid reason. You're just following other people. Or, oh, um, you know, put my race in it. Like, that has nothing to do with nothing. Nothing. Like, if... If I want to get something done, that's my business. And I have YouTube and stuff, so I can share that with y'all if y'all want to know. And if you don't want to know about it, you know, just don't watch it. So, it just like, it was like, dang, like, this is a lot of negativity, a lot of whatever on my video. But at the same time, my video was getting a lot of views. Like, that video actually helped me get back monetized on YouTube. So, it was just like, you can feel how you want to feel about it, but at the same time, it's not going to change nothing. Like, all you're doing is helping me, to be honest. So, I thank you guys who gave me positive and, you know, comment like, oh, you know, thank you, like, you know, for telling us how it is and showing us and everything else. I thank you guys for that. And I also thank you negative people because y'all helped me also. So, it's just like, you know, so win-win. I need some more setting spray. Oh, uh, that's done. That's trash. So, I'm about to just sip this. Which, I need some more of this too. Gosh. but yeah so like I just had to speak on that for a second cause like it's really been like getting I me mean, like wow so much negativity like I'm not even a negative person to be a attracting all this negativity to be honest so yeah oh I need to brush that but yeah, this is the finished look. This is like how I go to work when I feel like being beat. You know, I of course add some earrings. My big old earrings. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you shop. Shop. <laughs> make sure you shop the site. You know, because pretty girls deserve pretty things. Ha <laughs> ha. But um, make sure you guys use my 20% off discount code for all you guys. Welcome doll. Because, you know, I got to make sure you guys get that, get that, you know, get that, get back or whatever. And make sure you be looking up for my sale in October. I'll be doing um bundle deals during, I think, probably, let me see, probably the last three weeks. Let me see. I'll probably start it on the 14th. So be out. Be looking for that. On the 14th, I'll be starting the bundle deals for October. And um, just thank you guys for the for all the support so far. And, like, you guys don't understand. Like, I really do love you guys. I love that I have this platform and, like, on my Instagram and stuff to, you know, get that love and also give back to you guys. Because, like I said, I'm not out here to be digging in your pockets. Like, I'm here to help you guys not spend so much coin to look good because you know us pretty girls deserve us pretty girls pretty guys whatever we all deserve pretty things like we don't we shouldn't have to be out here working on too hard for them so like i said thank you guys for all the support i love you guys mm, all of my population of sin city i love y'all and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one this is sin sign off Sin, Sin City wasn't made for you. Angels like you.